Good morning. My name is Kai Brand Jacobson. I'm the director of the Department of Peace Operations at the Romanian Peace Institute at Trier. I'm speaking to you from Iraq, just uh, about a few dozen kilometers from the front lines of ISIS and Daesh. I'm doing this recording to let people around the world know about an event that's taking place today and over the next few days. We're working with the Nineveh Provincial Council with local authorities, with local community representatives and organizations from across Nineveh, one of the areas that has been most affected by fighting and violence over the last years. Millions of people have been displaced from their homes. Thousands upon thousands of young women and girls have been abducted, experiencing rape and sexual violence, particularly from the city community. And what we're doing these days, together with the communities themselves that have been most affected, is working to support them to see how they can use mediation and dialogue, local peace committees, community-based dialogue processes to deal with the incredibly deep and difficult work of bringing people back together after violence and of addressing reconciliation and healing and addressing the invisible and visible, the, the individual, personal, and deep societal impacts of violence and trauma. And I wanted to make this recording because the reality is we deserve to know about this work. We deserve to know about the ordinary heroes, the citizens and people from one of the communities and countries that has been most deeply affected by violence and war, who are not giving up, but who are coming together and working to see how they can build a better future for their families, for their communities, for their country. And in the midst of everything that we're told and that we see in terms of scaring us about the other, in terms of uh, the situation of refugees and some of the hatred that's being promoted around that. We deserve to know that people on the ground in Iraq, in Syria, in Libya, in Yemen, in many parts of the world are working with incredible courage to try and deal with what is affecting their countries and communities. At the same time, many of our own governments are also involved in selling weapons two countries that are involved in wars in these regions. Um, you've got the mass weapons transfer from the European Union and North America, the United States in particular, but also countries like Romania, Britain, selling weapons to Saudi Arabia, which is very actively involved in escalating the war in the region. Um, we are taking part ourselves through the bombings and the drone strikes. And you would think, after all the years of war in Iraq, Afghanistan, Libya, we've recognized that intensifying and escalating violence doesn't help. Now, we have this image of Daesh, ISIS members being absolutely evil, being monsters. And a lot of what is being done, the rape, the killings, the violence, the destruction of historical sites, it is horrific. It is monstrous, as is bombing from drones, destroying areas. The response after Paris was bombing by the French Air Force, which killed hundreds of civilians. And the civilians that were killed in Syria did not deserve to die any more than the civilians that died in Paris. The reality is people on all sides are being affected, and the extremism of our governments and our regimes and ISIS and Daesh, extremism, meeting extremism to respond to and deal with the conflict, escalates and makes it worse. What we need is to invest in and support concrete peace-building measures and efforts and the courageous work of people in their communities that are trying to bring about an alternative. Now, a movement is growing around the world, similar to the movement that worked to end apartheid in South Africa, a global solidarity movement, a movement which is meant to support the people within the countries themselves, organizations like Planet Syria or the Nineveh peace teams, people working within their communities, but needing help and support from people abroad, both to get our governments to stop selling weapons, to get our governments to stop carrying out bombing and drone strikes, and importantly, to get our governments to actually invest in and support effective and real peace-building measures from the regional level, which is absolutely needed to specific country by country, to on the ground, what is now happening in Nineveh. For example, this process that we're taking part in over the next few days is an incredible initiative supported by the United Nations and part of a much larger effort where civil society, local authorities, the Nineveh Provincial Council, the government of Nineveh have all come together and are working on long-term peace-building measures and also very practical, immediate steps to help deal with the impacts and effects and dynamics and root causes of the conflicts in their communities. Ordinary heroes building peace.